Hey, Marcellus here. This is a look at the Rising HF Helium Miner. And I got this one from Fast Miners. And I just wanted to give a brief tour of everything on the miner. Uh, starting on the outside, you have the LTE antenna, Wi-Fi antenna, GPS antenna, and then the lower WAN antenna. Uh, here on the bottom, you have uh, your DC input, RJ45, which this also supports PoE, so no need to run additional power. Um, they also supply a PoE uh, injector within the package, within the box, I should say. And then also a USB uh, port. And uh, going on the inside, you really shouldn't have a need to get in, but just wanted to show you, you know, the, the board that they use, uh, the different connections. Uh, here's going to be the lower WAN uh, chip that they're using. And I don't really see a spot for... Uh, an SD card so I don't know if that's just really hidden somewhere or if they just kind of have it uh, embedded in the board you know no way to really you know tell so uh, at least not yet or without ripping this thing you know further apart but it looks to be very well built um, it's outdoor rated of course as you can see uh, we have all the um, I forgot what this is called but basically you know keep you protected <laughs> stick that back in there a little bit uh, one of the things I don't like about this however is that uh, as expensive as this device is uh, it doesn't have a web interface and as far as I know um, the GPS and the Wi-Fi antennas um, they are just not utilized by uh, the helium uh, network uh, it would be nice if this outputted a Wi-Fi signal uh, as stated in the manual, so you can actually connect to it, set it up, you know, via a web interface, which is also in the manual, but neither one of those work. Um, so I think that might be for one of the other models, and they just basically uh, took a Helium firmware, put it on this, and just left it at that. There's no advanced features uh, like a UI to where you can configure uh, IP address settings or VPN settings and things like that. So none of that is there. Uh, unlike the, um, I forgot the name of the other miner, I'm sorry, um, brain cramp here, the, um, the Milesite miner, sorry, I had to turn around and look. So that one has a very nice UI, this one doesn't have uh, such features, and even though this one has uh, like LTE um, capabilities, apparently that has to be enabled by the manufacturer, so uh, they have to connect to your hotspot and enable that somehow. Uh, as to what that looks like after it's enabled and how it's utilized, that I'm not sure. Uh, very little information. So uh, that part could be kind of you know frustrating if you're looking to uh, do some advanced configuration of this device beyond just onboarding it and putting it onto the Helium network. Um, but speaking of onboarding, um, it was pretty much painless for the most part. There is no Bluetooth sync button on here. Uh, but it goes into like a Bluetooth pairing mode uh, for five minutes after booting up, at which point you can pair it up. Uh, I did have a few problems with my Android phone. It's a Note uh, 10. I uh, did have a few disconnect messages, but eventually I got it to, you know, pair and it's onboarded and good to go. So anyway, hope this helps. I uh, hope this uh, gives a really brief rundown of what this thing looks like on the outside and the inside. Uh, again, this comes with the mounting hardware in the box as well, and it also does come with the lightning arrestor too. So, again, just wanted to share that information. Uh, if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments. Peace.